Well, check out that beauty. That is the Olight Baton Pro. A nice compact EDC flashlight that'll put out 2,000 lumens. Well, hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to another Not Thursday. Today we are going to be looking at the Olight Baton Pro. I want to thank Olight for sending this flashlight out to me to test and review. It's actually the first product I've owned from them. I do have to say they're aesthetically pleasing. The blue trim on the bezel, the belt clip, and the side switch make for a really good looking flashlight. So I do these reviews because not only do I enjoy it, there's a couple good reasons. One, I like gear. Two, I try to give you guys information that may help you decide in whether or not to buy a particular product. So I'm gonna go through all the specs of this light, show you how it performs, and tell you what I like and don't like about it. So first of all, let's see what comes in the box. The flashlight. User manual, nice little pouch, lanyard, and charging cable. It's a nice pocket size at four and a quarter inches in length. The head diameter is just under an inch and the body diameter slightly smaller than that. Weighing in at 3.77 ounces. So let's talk about the power situation and setup here. The flashlight comes with an Olight 18650 battery, but be warned, if you intend to use other 18650 batteries in this flashlight, they are nowhere near the same size. This standard battery will not work in that flashlight. So you have to use this battery or a battery of the same exact length. So one thing right off you notice about the flashlight that's different is that the charger magnetically connects to the flashlight. Now that is a very cool feature. Simple to use, flawless, pop it on let it charge. My only concern about that is it is a specific cable to this flashlight. So combined with the odd length of that battery and needing that cable, if you're away for a considerable amount of time, you don't have the cable, you're pretty much out of juice. So we'll get to some outdoor night shots of the Baton Pro in action, but let me tell you where I've been using this flashlight the most recently since I've had it. I think it's a great at-home, desktop, workshop type flashlight. One, because this tail cap is magnetic. And while working on my desk, I had to fix something and conveniently just stuck it to the hardware on the side. Boom, I got light. I then conveniently had a splinter that I had to remove. And that's one thing I can say about this pocket clip. I like the way that if you stand it on the clip, it actually raises the bulb up a bit as opposed to just blasting light across a flat surface. And then when walking out to my porch, I heard some wildlife and I don't know if you can see them, but there is a possum in that shot that I was able to spot easily. Now let me mention something about the pocket clip. This is one of those S clips, so you can go into your pocket this way, lens up, and then it clips out this way. Now I hear a lot of people talk about how you can use this as well as a headlamp, but let me tell you, if you put it on underneath your visor, it's too long. If you put it on top of your visor, it's too long. And obviously, if you put it that way, it's backwards. So for a standard ball cap installation as headlamp, uh, it really doesn't work. You can put it halfway on, but it's all over the joint. But I do have to say I love how the clip is sunk into the flashlight. You can't flip it, you can't spin it, but it does look nice and it is super secure. Okay, so the how to use it before we go use it. You have one side switch button. It is very low profile and firm. It's a very firm press. From the off position, if you press and hold, you get moonlight. If you keep holding it, it locks it out. Then when you have it on, it's a press and hold to cycle through all levels. Double click, 
for turbo, triple click for strobe. So let's get down to the beam shots. This is a flood. It is beautiful. It's soft. I love it indoors. Again, like I said, I think this is a great indoor flashlight. But let's get outside with it. My test facility, the driveway. Now keep in mind, my shed from where I stand is about 60 feet, and the entire length of the driveway is just shy of about 150 feet. So that'll give you an idea of what we're looking at for performance. All right, so starting out in the basement with Firefly mode, that's five lumens. It'll last you nine days. Great for low impact viewing, I guess you could say. The next setting is 30 lumens. That'll last you 55 hours. We'll throw 15 meters. That is great for indoor use and probably the one that I have been using the most for my needs. Moving up to medium, which is 120 lumens, will last 13.5 hours, and will throw 30 meters. That is really good indoors. It's not bad outside. It's enough to move around, navigate, walk, do what you need to do. But being that it's a flood, obviously it doesn't throw too much. It's when you move up to high at 600 lumens, especially outdoors, that you really see how good of a flood this flashlight really is. It's soft, there's no real hot spot. It's awesome outside. That'll last you 3.5 hours and will throw 70 meters. That is probably the most usable setting for outdoor use because the turbo is 2,000 lumens. It's brilliant. Looks awesome, but it'll last one minute. And then the flashlight will ramp itself down to, I believe, the 600 lumen setting. And I'm assuming if you use that turbo setting quite a bit, you're going to deplete the capacity of the battery to give you that 2,000 lumens. All right, so we'll run through the settings one more time. This is Firefly. This is low. This is medium, and we'll back up so you can see the throw a bit better as we go. This is the high at 600 lumens. Let's see how far back we can get. And then up to 2,000. And you can see that is a big, beautiful flood. And then, of course, strobe. Another thing I will say is that when you shut this off, it's a slow fade out. So you can see where the wants and needs for an individual's flashlight are important. There are so many different features and different setups that a lot of these things need to be pointed out. This light, I really like it. It's nicely made, it's pretty, and that flood is great. But for my use, this is going to stay on my desk. That's where I've been using it, that's where I've been leaving it. It's been great for that. It's not something I'm going to take out into the woods or on any extended trip, but that's just me your needs may be different because the lights that I would take out while I am out there are not going to be tail cap standable. They're not going to be magnetic and more than likely they're not going to be a flood. So you can see why this flashlight is great for my workspace. It fills those needs and it does it very well. Along with that, the charging situation and the battery is something that I'm going to want to keep here at home. That charging situation is great. I literally just take it and throw it to the magnet and it starts charging. But I'm not going to carry another cable along with me when pretty much everything else I have is a USB-C or USB mini and I have those cables in my bag. So I appreciate you tuning in. I hope the information that I've provided you helps you make a decision whether to buy or not buy this product. I will put the links down below to Olight's store. And if it's something you want, go check it out. 
I'll see you guys all very soon. Until next time, enjoy your not Thursday.